preserve your memory and favorite days. Come online to the newest craze, the digital scrapbook, the way you want it to look. With digital scrapbook kits, fun and full of wit, you log in today, you won't be able to quit. Come on over and you'll think it's the bomb. And wit collection Hi everyone, and welcome to our video for our Country Lane collection. This is a gorgeous collection that is all about travel. Uh, you know, the freeing feeling of being off and, and the life the way you live it when you're out there. That's the whole genesis of the kit. Obviously, you can see from the preview that there is uh, a country slant to it if that's the way you'd like to go with it with the nice old truck and you know the feeling the wildflowers the fence all that kind of stuff there's license plates that are made into tags for you um, there is all sorts of great things in here and we'll get into that in a sec when I show you each and every uh, individual element and paper but it is not just about the old truck really that is only one very small component and you'll see that when I show you the the card example and the layout example as well is you'll see how different you can make things with this kit so in our bundled collection, you do save 20% off when you purchase it as the bundle and you purchase all five of the coordinating products in the bundle. Uh, you get our FQB, you get our Country Lane 2 paperback, you get our Country Lane Alpha, our Country Lane Solids paper pack, and our Country Lane Al uh, Little Bits Elements pack. So again, for those of you, if you're new to this, all of these items are coordinated, but yet there's no duplicates in anything. You're not getting anything duplicated. So let's go in and have a peek and see if what I'm saying is really true here about what, what the feel of the kit is. So here we are with our background papers, beautiful bordered papers. And you can see by the wildflowers down here, if you just wanted to go in a floral direction, uh, that is certainly something that you can do. There is no problem with that whatsoever. Here it is in a few different colors, because again, we don't know what your color palette is. Look at that kind of tomato red, isn't that beautiful? And obviously, because there is a little bit of a country slant to, slant to it, we do want the denims. Uh, we want that feel kind of like, you know, the country stuff, maybe farmer's markety, those kind of things. Uh, you know the feeling when you're strolling through the country with the, the just all the feeling that nature gives you and, and that nature provides us with all that beauty uh, and the feelings of, of it all, right? Here's our florals, our fl Miriam Fran and her florals. I tell you, I can't say enough about them. They are gorgeous. And this, if you were to zoom up on it, you would see how much detail really, truly is in this. Again, there's a couple colors in here, and then there'll be some more as well in our two paper pack where it'll be have a couple of different colors as well. So uh, don't miss out on the two paper pack as well, which we'll come to. There's the ginghams. Now, doesn't that remind you of a tablecloth? Aren't you ready? Kind of, can you taste the ham sandwich? You know, there's our tablecloth or our napkin. Well, I, I know I sure can. Here's a, a little floral, just a great simple pattern thing. Again, we, Mary Fran always likes to give you uh, the more intricate or complicated patterns and as well as the uh, simple ones, just so that way you have some great compatible papers. Here's plaids, which are obviously fit in so well with this kit. This is a quilted back. Now this kind of has a bit of a pinwheel, I guess, in it that is all multi-use. But you'll see how I used this actually in my card making idea. It was actually this blue version of it. Uh, and it is a terrific, terrific paper. Stationary papers. So, and again, you'll see I use this exact paper uh, in my card making example. And boy, does it, things come together quickly. You just, as soon as you put that paper on there, you can see, uh, oh, I'm like almost half done already. So those are wonderful ones to use. The stripes with the florals in them really kind of almost uh i guess more of an elegant feel if you want to say it that way you know they're uh, a great paper to use i tried to incorporate it but the way i was going it didn't quite work for me but beautiful papers some tickings as well obviously some more simplistic ones and the words backgrounds i really wanted to use this one and i tried it over and over and i thought about leaving it in but it didn't happen it just didn't make the cut for mine but I hope it makes the cut for yours because you can see by the words in there, that is a terrific paper. Look at how bold that is in the navy color with the white words. Uh, man, you know, that, that really is a paper to use. Some borders, a beautiful border, 
already has the sentiment in it for you. And again, you'll see what I'm saying when I show you the card example versus the layout example that Mirfran did. Um, you'll see how you can go very much into that country feel and, and all that kind of stuff and in the back roads and stuff. Or you can go a little more elegant like I, like I did in my card making where you can go just towards the floral. It doesn't feel like that at all, right? So here's the border blank in case you wanted some other uh, phrase in there or, or whatever. A border of flowers. Again, for those of you who are creating uh, digitally, this is awesome because this is what we call a ping file. So all this is transparent. This isn't white. For those of you using this as in physical paper, this also makes a fun, just a fun element to use because you have a large, large border. And this ends up being, uh, geez, you know, I can't remember what the exact size of it is, but it is large. Uh, there's no problem with you using it in, in, in a large size. Cute bows, right? Again, great feel for them, perfectly suited to this kit. Some really interesting looking brads as well. Uh, always nice to have some new and, and, and interesting looking uh, items in the kits. Some buttons that have the different swirl in them. They're really a, a, a unique element to use. A circle label. So again, Mary Friends, use the flowers. And you can see by this what I was talking about. If you just wanted to lean and, and do a card or a layout or a mini album just towards the floral, you have lots of elements and lots of availability for that. The, here it is with Country Life already, Mary Friends added in for you. And it's time for a road trip. So again, it's not just about the country, it is really about travel, right? You know, like by vehicle, obviously, but travel. Uh, corner cluster of flowers, again, this is all transparent in here. Uh, so you have a wonderful element and you can Certainly, if, if you're adept enough in your programs, you can flip this horizontally so it could be on the other side, just a mirror image of it, that kind of thing. Uh, the fences, obviously, if there's a few different versions, maybe you want one plain, maybe you want one with flowers, maybe you want it in gray, gray with flowers. Again, lots of options, lots of color palette things that you can work with. Uh, flares, road, with like, this one says road trip, dirt roads, country lane. And again, some just going towards just floral only. That is the great part of this kit is you really have two distinct paths that you could take. Here's our flower clusters. Because if you're using it as a country feel, obviously these flow right in way. But if you, and, but if you just wanted to go floral, you certainly have those elements, like I said before, that allow you to just go with that floral feel, that floral atmosphere. Some hearts, beautiful wonderfully colored, really detailed. You can see how Mary Fran even had, has it in here so it looks like it's got another border around it, like it's kind of pressed down in that area. Just does a great job with this. Journaling pads, discover. So here was where I was talking about just simple travel, right? You've got great journaling lines here so that you can mem memorialize that trip. Uh, maybe you use this as a card insert and that's where you write your sentiment in. You've got all kinds of things you can do with these journaling pads. Wild and free, all good things are, all good things are. That's by Henry David Thoreau. Again, great, well embellished, really well embellished. You have a perfect pre-made element already. All you do is print it and fill it in, right? And so the adventure begins. And into journal mats. So the journal mats, again, some blank ones. Here is a wonderful scene and this is the country scene. Here's the track, you've got an apple barrel, you've got the tree, the fence, the wildflowers. Here you go. If that's what you wanted and that was your feel of it because you had a really memorable trip from when you were uh, a kid or even last year, here you have it. And one with just the tree. Maybe you went out for a picnic or maybe this goes to a uh, more floral way because you're doing a mini album. Uh, these are great insert cards for that as well. Another beautiful journal mat done in brighter colors. Uh, another one here with just the wildflowers, giving you space to write in. Country life, if you're a country person, I tell you, this, this will work well for you as well. The journal strips, which are blank, again, you give you a chance in order to write in what it is that you want to say, names, dates, places, whatever it is. Greatly done, and look at how the stitching around the outside even kind of looks like a, I don't know, a, a, a braided... Uh, thread kind of thing you know it's nice and thick almost corded if you will right license plates some great license plates in here that are used as tags and what a terrific way when you're doing a uh, something on a bit of travel how great is this in order to have 
real elements that look like that, right? So some smaller hearts for you to use as well and our paint chip. And there's our quilt star. So almost pinwheel like, like, but as you can see, look at how well they're all paired together, all those papers. I'm saying thank you to Mary Fran all the time because hey, that made my life so much easier because I don't have to pair things or I can use this as an inspiration, kind of like a paint chip where you think, oh, this paper goes really well with this paper or this paper goes really well with this paper. So you can utilize those things that she's already done for us in order to help you with your creating as well. Ribbons, we always need ribbons. Ribbons make a great accent. And again, you'll see those both in Mary Fran's layout and the card that I made uh, in, at the end here. I'll show them to you. And you can see how well the ribbons work. They just give that extra little punch. Here is a full scene. So already built for you. Shadowing is on it with the truck and all that kind of stuff, the license plate. You really, you know, like to place that element into something, you are off to the races in no time. Little bit larger, a uh, little taking the license plate off because maybe you didn't want that issue or that element in there. Uh, country roads take me home. So this is a sentiment. This is like a, like a stamp, a digital stamp. And the tree, the gorgeous tree and the truck. Here's the front view and the side view of the truck. So that is all of the papers and elements that are included in our FQB. Our little bits uh, elements pack. Again, this is pretty much completely done elements. These are the great things about the little bits is you when you use these, as you can see in these journal cards, they're fully done for you. You always have great fonts, uh, well written sentiments and well clustered elements. Uh, you know, you really don't have to do anything with these. You really ha can start like, imagine having this, print this off, and this is one of your inserts. You have to do nothing. You print, cut, and there you have it, right? And that's kind of the point of the little bits is to give you some great elements which are pre-done for you. Uh, they're all really well clustered and done. So you don't have to uh, touch them and, and do anything to them. You simply just place them into your creations because sometimes you want to create, maybe you have a little creative block, Maybe you have a little bit of uh, time constraints. This allows you to still create great things, fantastic things, but they're done for you. Now we do give you a few blanks in here too, because maybe it made your juices flow, and but you didn't. It didn't say exactly what you wanted, so now you you have that as well. Sometimes all you need is a weekend and a dirt road. Again, a digital stamp sentiment, so you can place that anywhere in any of your creation. Same thing with this one here. At the end of the day, your feet should be dirty, your hair messy, and your eyes sparkling. Now, isn't that a day, right? That, it truly is a day. Sometimes all you need is a good friend and a tank of gas. <laughs> that is the truth, the old Thelma and Louise adage. And here is the sentiment from that border that we saw in the, uh, the FQB, or in the original FQB. Discover, escape to nature, and back to the journal cards. So that's our little bits. Tons and tons, it's filled with everything that you would want to use in, in that sort of theme of the kit. And again, here is our uh, Country Lane 2 paper pack. As I mentioned to you, you will see the same patterns, but they are in different colors. You will not see these colors of this anywhere else. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was going through the FQB papers, is there's the floral in, in a blue. You don't get that in the FQB. You get different colors of it, but not the blue. And also not in what we call a putty color, uh, just because it was a that's an apt name for it. So don't think that you're getting any duplicates here. This simply is intended to extend your creative ability because we know when you're making cards and you're uh, making mini albums and things like that, boy, you need a lot, right? You want a lot of differences to go on there so that nothing looks the same and that certainly provides that for you. In our solids, what a fabulous way to do a solid, right? A simple stitched back or uh, border around each of the papers makes it look so terrific and they are great to use. Again, you can probably see this as well. Like what's wrong with this is using a standard paper and start building in the inside of this. Doesn't that look terrific? So very usable papers, but we always want you to have the color coordinates. That is the point of the solids pack is to have the color coordinated products so that you never have to worry about, well, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. Uh, these are perfectly color coordinated. Our Country Lane Alpha, again, a nice bold alpha, right? Done in that navy color, white little flowers in there. A couple of them have a hint of color. 
Uh, these are great to use. Again, like I've said in the past, I know I'm a bit of a broken record, so maybe you might want to mute me at this point. But alphas are fabulous to use to do names, dates, places, uh, punctuate a word, that kind of thing, in order to really get across your theme in a, in a full style here. Like give it a real big shout out kind of thing in your creation. These are fabulous. But you can also use them, maybe it's somebody's initials. You can be as subtle as that with it, but you get these nice large letters so that that way you can, uh, you can uh, do those things and have that creative ability with an alpha. So there it is folks, Country Lane. We hope that you'll come walking down our Country Lane and walk on over to our country store and pick it up for yourself. Uh, it is a fabulous kit to create with. And as you saw in there, uh, oh, I was gonna show you, let me back up here, pardon me. Here is our layout. So as you can see in the layout, you can see how there is the floral, but it very much is a country travel feel, right? Gorgeous layout, by the way, that's, that's a nice one. And here is the card. So as I said to you earlier, see how this, you can just totally go to the floral. This has that border that we saw with a nice sentiment on it. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle of nowhere. Um, this is, is a, another hopeful way that you can go where you just have the, that feel. It's not as country, it's a little more upscale if you will. Um, so that is the difference of, of creating with this kit is you do have certainly very a couple of options and ways you can go with it. I hope you've enjoyed this kit and enjoyed watching the video so you could see it in its entirety. Please give us a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Please leave us a comment if you have a couple of comments to share with us. And I hope that you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss out on anything that we put up, whether that be our new kits or starting again in August, I'm gonna start doing the creations again and tutorials so you also don't wanna miss out on that. Thanks again for joining and hope you enjoy this kit.